an identical conference record. Ohio State currently holds the tiebreaker by virtue of beating Michigan State earlier this season. Hi everybody, I'm Gus Johnson along with the coach Steve Lavin and welcome to Allstate Arena. Michigan State number two in the land. Northwestern, they've struggled a little bit, loses a three of their last five and they have injuries. So what gives today? Well, Michigan State playing as well as anyone in the country. Best start in school history, like a well-oiled machine. They're in a sprint mode trying to close out with a Big Ten championship. They've won nine straight. Northwestern, Gus, needs to stop the bleeding. Two straight losses, looking for a win. Time now to join the third member of our team on the sideline, Lisa Byington. Well, Gus, Northwestern is without starting point guard Brian McIntosh, who injured his shoulder in the last game against Rutgers. He hasn't practiced since. I asked, are you done for the year? He said, oh, no, I am going to be back at some point. The injury news continues for Northwestern as well as his backup. Jordan Ash not only out for today, out for the season with a lower body injury. Northwestern dressing eight scholarship players, Gus. All right, thank you very much, Lisa. So let's take a look at the starting lineup. Coach, who jumps out at you? Well, Cassius Winston uh, at his best. And let's take a look at the officials for today's game. Terry Oglesby, Gene Steratore, fresh off refereeing the Super Bowl votes, and Kelly Fight. Northwestern, Michigan State. The last time these two teams met, Northwestern beat Michigan State. Michigan State rather beat Northwestern 61-52 last season in East Lansing and we're underway. Wildcats with the basketball. Anthony Gaines. And inside they go deep and get the easy one. Derek Harden with the layup. Little full court press. Northwestern will look to 2-2-1. Fall back into their matchup zone. Give you a number of different looks out of this zone. Defense trying to keep teams off balance. Michigan State beat Minnesota 87-57 in Minneapolis on Tuesday. Jared Jackson scored a career-high 27 points in that game. Shot clock winding down. Jackson looks inside. Off the heel, no good. Michigan State, Joshua Langford missing his first shot. Northwestern lost to Rutgers, 67-58 in overtime, Tuesday in Piscataway. Here's Pardon again, backing his way down, across the lane, kicks it out. Long jump shot coming up for Long, he bangs it down. Northwestern off to a great start. Bridges on the baseline. Nick Ward double team. Can he get free? Pushes off. In and out. Good start for Northwestern. Ideal. That's out of ball. bounds for Vic Law. Tom Izzo, 63 years old. The 2006 Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame inductee. He's got his team playing at a high level. It's amazing. When you watch Michigan State and you see some of their statistics out there in the top five in a number of different categories. Yeah, really no chink in the armor. Both sides of the basketball, they lead statistically in all the important categories. Easy look inside point blank range for Michigan State to get on the board. Jaron Jackson Jr., the talented freshman. And Michigan State inside. Now they kick it, Skelly. And a foul coming up. This will go against Derek Harden. Chris Collins, 43 years old. Wildcats have seen major improvement each year under Coach Collins from 14 and 19 to 15 and 17 to 20 and 12 to 24 and 12. And last year making the NCAA tournament for the first time in the school's history. What an accomplishment at Northwestern. You know, local product, an ideal fit for the Wildcats. Building a culture and a program. Jackson down the lane, left hand off the glass, in and out, loose ball, batted around, and a foul. And here are today's Geico players to watch, Coach. Jaron Jackson Jr. and Scotty Lindsay. Well, Jackson at the rim and a rim runner. Someone that protects defensively. 
And of course, Scotty Lindsay taking on some ball handling responsibilities with this Wildcat shorthanded team in the backcourt. They're going to have to do it by committee, Gus. Two guard front. They don't have one ideal point guard to play through, but they can do it collectively. Skelly down the lane, the kick, Lindsay, quick release. And the rebound to Cassius Winston. He'll push it hard into the front court. Jackson looking inside for Ward, knocked away, nicely done. Derek Parker. Gaines in transition off the window, no. Another rebound for Winston. He's bumped coming up into the front court. Bridges cross court and throws it out of bounds. Second turnover for the Spartans. This Wildcat team early has the right aggressive mindset. Uh, there's a pep in the step. They've been alert, aggressive. Northwestern, they are road weary. Their overtime loss to Rutgers completed a stretch of five of six games on the road, and then they come home. That coach, it's almost like when they're home, they're on the road. Well, with the home campus arena being renovated, uh, they've been playing out here. So while they're in the same city, it's different in terms of routine. And as you know, athletes, teams, broadcasters, for that matter, are creatures of habit. Uh, so. There clearly is a disadvantage you feel a bit out of sorts when you're not playing on your true home court. Gaines slipping in the basket, cut off. Now he'll pull up with a jump hook inside, and it goes down. A good conversion by Northwestern on their made basket. They get organized defensively with that 2-2-1 zone press. Just to slow Michigan State down some. Goins. Northwestern really digging in defensively on top seven to two. Roar, power dribble down the lane, elevates and goes down. Nice, quick, decisive move, good footwork, and a deft touch. Michigan State has reeled off nine wins in a row since a home loss to rival Michigan. Here's Lindsey. Guarded by Langford. Langford, a very good defender. He's long. Lindsay, step back three. Pure. That's critical. Northwestern to win this game, Gus, has to make 12 to 14 threes. They've been challenged some offensively. Michigan State won't give you much on the inside, so they're going to have to make threes. Bridge is short. Hard with a rebound. 10 4, Northwestern. Great energy in the building. A lot of Michigan State fans in attendance this afternoon. These first five minutes, Northwestern velocity cuts, good spacing, good movement without the ball, dribble handoffs, good screens. They're precise on point offensively. Skelly with a look. Ripped down by Bridges. Bridges hit that big game winner against Purdue in East Lansing. Some feel that he is a top 10 pick. Coming up this year, double pump, and that's why he gets the roll. So talented. Here's that two-guard front. Offensively, Northwestern operates out of. Pull up jump shot, and that one goes down for Big Law. Northwestern shooting. Had a great clip to start this game. Nick Ward says he was fouled. No call. All ball, according to the officials. Big start for Northwestern, though, against the number two team in the nation. Anthony Gaines, the freshman from New York, putting the biscuit in the basket back after this. Michigan State, so far, big start for the Wildcats. Well, efficient offense. Watch Vic Law. He's going to get two screens, find himself a nice little pocket for a catch-and-shoot opportunity. Pardon cleans up on this second screen, and just enough daylight for the catch-and-shoot opportunity. And it's those looks, both from the perimeter and the sharp execution for the interior shots that have allowed Northwestern to get out to this 12-6 start over Sparty. Sparty with the basketball bridges will inbound it. McQuaid has come in, along with Schilling. Here's Schilling inside. McQuaid is the sharpshooter for Michigan State. Tum Tum Naren also in with the ball right now. 
Bridges. And the rebound to Falzone. Talking to Chris Collins before the game, he said he wanted to slow him down with that matchup zone. He couldn't allow Michigan State to really get going in transition. That's where they're dangerous. Well, Northwestern, because they're executing on offense, they're able to get into that 2-2-1 and convert to slow down Michigan State's early offense. Nick Law, again, he has a quick seven points. And the Wildcats take a 14-6 lead. Across the lane. Goins, jumped up, deflected. Falzone got a hand on it, 12 to shoot. Now Bridges has to make things work for him. And a whistle and foul on the baseline. Second foul at the 13-10 mark on Bridges. And again, the hot potato finding the open man. And Vic Law with the quick release. Very efficient. Good backspin. Ball coming off the middle. Three fingers. And again, you just sense a very cohesive approach here early, Gus, by Northwestern. Tied together offensively, defensively, alert and aggressive. So now Bridges has to sit down. Inside, Northwestern trying the power game. Not a very good shot there. Here comes Nairn the other way. See within this zone, they can extend it, they can collapse it. Communication is imperative. Michigan State, three for nine to start this game. Schillen tries to turn, cut off nicely by Barrick Benson. Up top, Langford way short. That Northwestern defense right now sweltering. Well, they're not allowing the Spartans to get any angles off the bounce, and that's what the zone is intended to do, is to keep the ball in front, level off angles to the basket. Scotty Lindsay running around screens. Law, he's been hot. Loose ball, rebounded in the corner. New shot clock. Gaines got it. Law again, and he rattled it in. This kid's got in the gym range today. Ten points. And that second shot opportunity, a result of offensive rebounding, being aggressive, getting those 50 50 balls. That's been the edge thus far. The Northwestern more aggressive than Michigan State. Tied together. McQuaid guarded by Falzone. Four to shoot. Naren drives to the basket. Lost it. Can't get it to fall in the baseline. Scotty Lindsay the other way. Pulls up and knocks it in. Timeout Spartans. 10-0 run for Northwestern. And the number two team in the nation with trouble. That's all it is to add a line with unlimited game. Northwestern off to a hot start. 20-6 over the number two team in America, Michigan State. Well, thick ball, feeling it early, tickling the twine on catch and shoot opportunities. Not a lot of wasted movement or wasted dribbles. Catch it, lock and load, and launch. And give Northwestern credit. His teammates finding the hot hand, playing through Mr. Law. Northwestern 8 of 15 from the field. The star 4 of 8 from the three-point line. Michigan State 3 of 11. 0 for 3 from downtown. And Ward across the lane, and he draws a foul. That foul called on Barrett Benson. His first, and Nick Ward will go to the line. Let's go to Lisa Byington. Pace was the big conversation in the latest Chris Collins huddle. He talked about mucking it up in the middle, and Lav, you've talked about it, that 2-2-1. Two, two, They're going to continue to try to pinch in the middle. He said if you let Michigan State turn the corner, go down sideline, they are fast. We won't win that battle. They concentrated on two things they're happy with. No transition buckets, one. No second chance points is the other, Gus. All right, thank you very much, Lisa Ward. Second free throw goes down, so he gets a pair. 28. Well, the other key is Northwestern with no turnovers, so 
and you shoot over 50 percent as they are and you don't turn the ball over that sets your defense both for full court and half court inside gains left hand up and in anthony gains the freshman from kingston new york and he's got to play big with mcintosh and jordan ash both out because of injuries he has four and this is a clear example early how Northwest has come out and just socked Michigan State in the mouth. And now it's incumbent upon Sparty to respond, begin punching back. Ward facing up, seven to shoot. Winston, deep jumper. Rims off, 0 for 4 from the three point line. Ward trying to dig it out, picked up. Scotty Lindsay, outlet pass. Here's Law. He's got a quick trigger, bounce pass inside. And another easy layup for Anthony Gaines. Great look by Vic Law. Largest lead of the game now for Northwestern. Well, textbook basketball on the break. Defense creating offense and sharing the sugar for the easy deuce. Jackson spinning. Off balance shot. Nick Ward. Rebound and foul. And that foul called on the floor. Wow, it is very interesting. I feel like I'm getting old. I called Chris Collins' last college game when he was at Duke in the NCAA tournament against Eastern Michigan Earl Plinkins. Ran him out of the gym that day. Now such a successful coach at 43 years old. What a wonderful job he's done at Northwestern. One tremendous preparation for this game to get the five-second violation again. Alert, aggressive, tied to the back. Tied together. Fourth turnover for Tom Izzo's team. Northwestern has not turned it over. 9.27 to go. 24-8. Northwestern team coming off an overtime loss against Rutgers. They've lost three out of their last five. Inside. Gaines backing up on Winston. Cross court. Skelly catch and shoot. Boom. How about this, folks? The number two team in America with major trouble. A foul called on Scotty Lindsay at the midcourt line on Winston. Remember, Miles Bridges went out at the 13-10 mark when he picked up his second foul. That leveled the playing field for the Wildcats. And Northwestern, because of their ability, Knocking down threes, that's stretching Michigan State's defense and creates opportunities on the interior. Jackson, hell bent to get across the lane, the jump hook off the heel, loose ball, batted around, picked up Nick Ward, lefty up off the back of the rim, and Northwestern has it. Here comes Gaines in transition. Baseline jumper, short for Isaiah Brown. And a reaching foul coming up against the Cats. This matchup zone is not a 2-3 hands up airy zone, not a soft zone. It's stout, it's physical, there's man-to-man -man principles. As you can see, Northwestern providing resistance at the rim within that zone. Coach Collins' is Wildcats on a 17-2 run right now. Winston, three. And a rebound to Skelly. One and done for the Spartans. They're cleaning up the boards. And again, that's another aspect of the zone. It keeps the integrity of the bigs remember, covering the baseline. Remember, Northwestern is without Brian McIntosh, their senior leader. Gaines curling down the lane. Nine to shoot. Law backs it up. He's been hot. Step back three. Again! Vic Law with 13 in the first half, and Northwestern takes a 30 to 8 lead. Michigan State stuck in the mud. Northwestern on a 20 to 2 run. Timeout on the floor. 7.40 to go. Big 10 basketball on Fox. Can Northwestern take down the number two team in America? We'll see. Continue to talk on defense. Continue to talk on defense. Find shooters. 
You don't lay behind Ward in the post. Okay? And when the shot goes up, everybody rebound. All right. A clear message. Meanwhile, Lankford knocks down the baseline jump shot, his first bucket. Thirty to ten, Northwestern off to an excellent beginning against the number two team in the nation. And a whistle and foul. It looks like this will go against Carton. Let's go to Lisa. Well, Tom Izzo in the huddle quickly looked at his assistant coaches and said, we can't wait any longer. That's the reason why Miles Bridges now is back in this game. Then he turned and looked at his players and he said, where are you guys at? Where are you at? I need you dialed in here. They talked about movement offensively. He feels like his offense is really stagnant. Look for some inside-outside action, guys. All right, thank you very much, Lisa. So Bridges back in the game with the two fouls. He's got to be careful. Doesn't want to pick up that third. Leaves his feet and throws it out of bounds. Fifth turnover for Michigan State. Well, here's in isolation. Good help, recovery, the straight up defensive rotation leads to another turnover for Michigan State. It's clear the Spartans are discombobulated, but give Northwestern credit for that. Uh, their schemes defensively, their alertness, their oh, rotations. Again, wow, this kid is on fire. 16 in the first half. Well, Gus, there's 7 of 11. I felt 14 was the magic number for an upset. Uh, they're on point, on track. Inside the court, and he'll get the roll plus the foul. The young man from Gahanna Lincoln High School, right outside of Columbus. A good dump down, a little high-low action. And that's what you have to try and do within that zone. Post up, carve out some space. Give yourself a chance to get fouled or get a high percentage look at point-blank range. So War coming off a 13-point game against Minnesota, also had nine rebounds, five offensive rebounds. He's 6'9", he's a banker. Great body, great strength, nice touch around the rim. 33-13, to 13, though. Now, defensively, Michigan State needs a string of stops or shutouts. That'll allow them to get out in transition, get some runouts. Haven't seen many fast breaks for this Michigan State team in the first half. Skelly, top of the key. Pure. There's number eight from the three-point line. Again, over 60% from the field collectively. And it allows Northwestern to get into that 2-2-1. Two, two, and that complements this zone as well. Less time for Michigan State to attack it. Carter inside, Ward, nice catch. Blocked by Skelly. Picked up Brown, outlet Law. They tried to get it to us. We've talked about the three-point shooting, Gus. Catch and shoot opportunities. Northwestern, an outstanding standstill shooting team. Got to take away that airspace with higher closeouts. Chase Northwestern off the three-point line if you're Michigan State. Wildcat shoot 35% from the three-point line on the season. Skelly now posted. He's hit two threes across the lane. Got it off and foul. Carter. Looks like he'll be called for the foul. Northwestern playing with great energy in this first half. But so interesting. Lisa talked about Coach Izzo looking at his team and feeling as though they're zombies. Uh, Night of the Living Dead. Body snatchers. And that happens with 18 to 22 year olds. Uh, sometimes they're looking back at you in a timeout like deer in headlights. And on the flip side, Chris Collins has a team playing at the magic level with purpose and precision. He said after going to the NCAA tournament for the first time in school's history last year, Coach Collins said that he thinks his team kind of relaxed a little bit, start feeling good about themselves, and people were telling them that they were really good. On top of it, not really being able to play a natural home game because of the construction of their arena. Getting over $100 million in the new place. It's going to look spectacular. We'll show you some pictures later. 12 to shoot. Lankford, a three. Got it. Approaching the five-minute mark. 38-16. Michigan State getting outworked. 
trying to figure out ways to get into this game. Law has been terrific. He's got 16 points. Brown and a reach-in foul coming up against MSU. Looks like Winston. And that foul, 15 foul against the Spartans. Called on Winston his first. Brown the inbound. Law, you can't give him any space. Here's Law again. Spartan to shoot. Spinning. And foul. That's a good counter. Michigan State extended their defense, Gus, trying to take away the three-point shots, limit the airspace of the Wildcats, and the counter is to drive it to the basket when you get Michigan State extended, put the official in position where he has to make a call, get yourself to the foul line as a result. Law from South Holland, Illinois, had seven points against Rutgers on Tuesday, five rebounds in 42 minutes, but man, has he exploded. He averages 12 a game. He has 17 in the first half with one more free throw right here. Jackson comes in, Ward heads to the bench, he'll take a blow. Bridges remains in with the two fouls for the Spartans. No free throws good for Law. He has 18, 40 to 16. And Benson called for another foul, and that'll send the Spartans to the line. Trying to push him off the box. And that's Benson's third. So he'll go out of the game. Falzone replaces him. This time of year, coach, you'll see a lot of the coaches shorten up their bench. We're seeing seen St. John's do that, playing five, really six players, and it's led to four straight wins, better chemistry as a result. Michigan State with more depth, and they're going to continue to play eight that they're confident with. Good drive again. Skelly and one. Well devised and well executed. A good catch at the extended elbow. The drive and finish absorbs the hit. Still able to keep the eyes on target for the finish. So Skelly at the line. And it's good. How about this, folks? Michigan State's largest deficit of the season right here. 43 to 16. What I like about that last possession is Gavin Skelly's an excellent shooter, the best shooter on the team. But his choice to turn down a shot against the extended Sparty pressure and put it on the deck again for the bucket and the old-fashioned three-point play conversion. Skelly's got great size. He's 6'8". As Winston misses the free throw. Almost a flawless half for the Wildcats, both offensively and defensively. Their reads, their purpose, and their execution of the game plan that Coach Collins still is on point. 43-17. Four minutes to go. Anthony Gaines has been very good for Northwestern in this first half. Aggressive, backs it up, here's Brown, pick and roll, gets down the lane, hangs in the air, couldn't lay it in. Fans wanted a foul. McQuaid, always looking for that jump shot. He needs space. Langford, step back, 11-footer, air ball. Saved by Ward to Winston. Six to shoot. Up top. Good. Passes. A fortuitous bounce 
Michigan State takes advantage. Good movement without the ball. Dribble handoffs. Law inside, still he kept it up high, left hand off the glass. No. And a foul coming up. We'll go against Anthony Gaines. The red hot Northwestern Wildcats trying to cool off the number two team in America here in the windy city of Chicago. Records Ohio State's got Michigan this weekend. So Michigan State with a chance to win another conference title, but right now they're running into a buzzsaw that is Northwestern. And if you look at those three teams at the top in their schedule, Michigan State has the favorable path in theory, uh, but in the Big Ten, no gimmies as we're seeing today. 43 to 22. Nine points for Nick Ward. Under three minutes to go. Gaines. And knocked away Ward. Almost stole it. Gaines. In the shoot, Brown, high step and step back, Jay. Bam. Two man basketball. Pretty. 45 22. Flawless first half for the Wildcats. Winston turning the corner. Bridges dumps it down. War with position. And a foul on Skelly. Now Skelly sprints with velocity into the screen and a nice step back move again the reads a good gather of the puppies squared away and excellent release as well wait a minute coach i just got a phone call bill raftery said you owe him twenty dollars for using his trademark puppies get the puppies organized get them organized you want nick Ward has been organized. He has 10 points in the first half. The average is 13 on the season. Good balance. Six players in the scoring column for Northwestern as well. Ward heads out. Goins replaces him. Two fourteen to go. Zone. Inside, they look for Skelly. That one deflected by Langford. Active hands. It's so interesting how our microphones pick up the squeaking of the shoes on both ends of the floor. And right now, Northwestern squeaking more frequently because of their effort and their energy on defense. And then offensively, their cutting has been so precise and purposeful. Law. He's been the straw that stirred the drink for Northwestern in this first half with 18 points. Brown has been successful in the pick and roll. Gets down the lane. Lift it up and in. Now just feeling it. The confidence. Unbelievable. 47 to 24. Bridges, top of the key. Pushed it. Calzone bats it to himself, but can't save it from going out of bounds. Well, Brown maneuvering well off that high ball screen, able to split defenders, then gather, takes a tough contested shot. But when you're feeling it, why not? 133 to go, and it's steal on the inbounds. Law go in, and he punches it down. Anthony Gaines. Attacking the rim and Northwestern running Michigan State out of the gym. Langford to McQuaid deep and good. McQuaid stops the bleeding. His first basket under a minute to go. Northwestern wants a strong finish to hold on to momentum going into the locker room and just the opposite if you're Sparty. Looking for a stop or two, get a couple buckets, chip away at the deficit. 
Gaines, tough shot. Gets a rebound, new shot clock, Northwestern will pull it back. Now, Northwestern's last two sequences, Gus, are emblematic of the entire first half. Aggressive, smart, tied together. Here's the alertness on the inbounds pass. The deflection with the high hands rewarded the alertness to advance the ball with the pass and a flush. And check this out, Northwestern on the season, shooting 43% today, they're up to 63%, they're 8 of 12 from the three-point line, and they've only turned it over one time. Well, and that's how you slow down this high-octane Michigan State team. Put it through the net, set your 2-2-1 two, two, full-court press to slow down the Spartans in transition, then get back into that comfortable zone that the Wildcats prefer, and Sparty has less time to attack that zone because of their full-court pressure schemes. Northwestern is led by as many as 27 points in this first half. Biggest deficit of the year for Michigan State. To only have one turnover against this Michigan State defense speaks volumes of being able to take care of the ball, ball security, and organized schemes. There's no wasted dribbles. Four second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. So the Wildcats will take their time. Isaiah Brown. A high pick and roll has been awfully effective. Nine to shoot. Brown to Law. Six to shoot. Law just needs a crease, lets it go. Sure. Here comes Winston with three seconds remaining. Winston has to hurry, fires the basketball, and short. Law with 18 in the first half. Northwestern shoots 62%, and he turned it over only one time. The Cats led by as many as 27. And the Spartans and Wildcats in the first half with a score of 49 to 27. Northwestern, maybe the best. And welcome back, 49 to 27, Northwestern on top of Michigan State. Gus Johnson along with Coach Lab. And Lab, this is the Northwestern team that was the preseason, that was in the preseason top 20, and we were all expecting to see this year. Yeah, the team that brought a core of veterans back from an NCAA tournament appearance. And what we're seeing today is a lights out performance offensively in terms of shooting 60% and even better from behind the three-point line at 61%. Again, too much daylight. These catch-and-shoot opportunities is what Tom Izzo will have to address. All right, let's take a look at the Buffalo Wild Wings first half stats. Well, to me, the most important stat is the 12 assists and only one turnover. That says it all in terms of concentration and to hold Michigan State to 33% in the field speaks to the Wildcats' defensive effort. All right, let's go to Lisa Byington. Well, we can't play like we have the lead, and we can't play just to hold on. That was the message that Chris Collins gave his team at halftime. We have to play to win, and that's what we did in the first half. Lab, you mentioned it. He was happiest with that stat, the 12 assists to one turnover. He's going to keep an eye, though, continuously on second-chance points and fast-break points. Michigan State scored a combined three in the first half, Gus. All right, thank you very much, Lisa. So we start the second half. Michigan State with the basketball. Winston, along with Bridges inside, Nick Ward, and he's fouled. You know, first five minutes coming out of the halftime locker room gives an indication of what coaches have emphasized. And on that first position by the Spartans, that first possession, they go right inside. They're going to attack inside first. And keep this in mind. The last time Northwestern recorded a win over a top five team it was number four michigan state 83 to 65 in 1979 39 years ago chris collins was four years old and magic johnson was running the show for the spartans and that was their national championship season skelly very good in the first half hit two threes and also had a driving bucket to the basket northwestern almost turns it over skelly Gets it back out. Scotty Lindsay. Five to shoot. 
Takes a long jumper. Air ball. And out of bounds. Shot clock violation against the Cats. So neither coach will be happy with those last two shots. Jackson's three for Michigan State. And then an air ball at this end. Don't forget, Nick Ward and Jaron Jackson average about 25 points per game. Bridges to the hole, can't lay it in. Ward with the rebound. But Gus, that's how you chip away at a big deficit like this. Take the ball to the rim, put opponents in foul-prone situations, get yourself closer to the bonus or rewarded with free throws if you're fouled while shooting. And with each five-minute timeout over the course of the half, incrementally shows six or seven points off this deficit. Now in the final minutes, you're back in the game with a chance to win. Easier said than done. Foul zone comes in for Skelly. Skelly picked up his fourth foul. Nick Ward. And the second free throw goes. 49 to 28. It all starts on defense, though, for Michigan State. Well, when you give up 60% from the field, 61 from the three point line, so unusual for a Tom Izzo team. A great slip screen delivery on time and the two hand jam. Eric Pardon inside. Jackson with the right hand roller, and it goes. And they the can't trade baskets with Northwestern. No, that's one of the few easy possessions we've seen all game for Michigan State. Surprisingly, it came off a Northwestern score, but Michigan, take, Michigan State gets one of their own. Scotty Lindsay, guarded by Langford. Tries to take him baseline, step back, jump shot. In and out. Winston pushes it. Bridges has to get going offensively. He only has two points. He's been in foul trouble. Jackson drives. Left hand hook. Jackson takes his time there, Gus. Surveyed the floor. Didn't see the help coming. Went to work in single coverage. Now the Michigan State fans get back into it. They've made the trip from East Lansing. James, teardrop. Right stay down. Another rebound for Nick Ward. Winston trying to shake him up. Got stripped. Numbers. Lindsay. The lob. They kick it back out. Wall rises. Hard with the rebound. Good and choice to back it out. Get organized. Get yourself a good look. Zone puts it on the deck, gets there, takes the bump. Nick Ward goes up, Harden couldn't hang on, and jump on as a ball, arrow favoring Northwestern. Well, Michigan State trying to find some high percentage looks as they struggled in the first half. Jackson going to take it straight in, avoid picking up the charge, and finishes off the window, and then in single coverage, down low, puts it on the glass and goes to the old school hook shot. Soft touch. Foul zone from the parking lot. Woo! And Gaines, the freshman, tried to tip jam it. This kid has some athleticism. Wow. And that's what we've seen all afternoon out of Northwestern is the aggressiveness, whether it's defensively, or offensively attacking the glass. So we take a look at the verts. Ball coming off the rim. Just wants it. Anthony Gaines. A consensus three-star prospect. Was rated as the top player in New Hampshire.
Second free throw is good. 53 to 32, 10 points for the freshman games. Nick Ward calling for the ball inside. Inside, Jackson, great look by Langford for the easy one. One of the few breakdowns defensively by the Wildcats in that zone. Tom Izzo telling our Lisa Byington as he headed into the locker room for halftime. With this kind of deficit, we'll see what we're about. Harden. Drop step baseline, cut off, looks in the corner. Foul zone across the lane, rejected by Jackson. Outlet pass, Winston. Northwestern gets back on defense. Langford lost it on the way up out of bounds. Aaron Jackson, the beneficiary of an extra pass, slams it down. He has eight now. There are 20 wins and 10 and 8 in a power conference like the Big Ten. Get one in the Big Ten tournament, and suddenly they're on the bubble. Quadrant one, home record versus RPI top 30, neutral record versus RPI top 50, and a road record versus RPI top 75. A new metric for the NCAA selection committee. Well, I'm sure Northwestern aware that this was a back-to-the-wall game, an opportunity if they have any hopes. Their legal screen. And that's Bridges, his third. Wow. I thought they might call it an offensive screen here. Let's see. Wow. I don't know. Looked that's like an iffy one right there. That's an iffy no one ball. right there. So he picks up his third and has to head out of the game. Harden. The law, who had 18 in the first half, pulls up. A brick. Northwestern cooling off. One for eight to start the second half. Michigan State's clearly elevated their defensive effort. Makes the hot roll catch inside and a foul. We talked about the defense, but on offense, Jaron Jackson going to work inside. The nice little hook shot, driving again to the rim, rewarded on a breakdown by Northwestern in that zone for the easy two-hand jam. Jackson on the bench right now, along with Bridges and Cassius Winston. Nick Ward. Ward, 8 of 10 from the free throw line today. Second one good. 53-35. Michigan State extending their defense. Northwestern is led by as many as 27 in this game. Michigan State's defense stiffening up here in the second half. They can get it to 12. The next TV timeout. Lindsey. Off balance and will head the other way. Fourth foul on Martin. He'll have to go out of the game. Seeing the concerted effort by the Spartans of leveling off that dribble penetration also bringing the resistance at the rim. Northwestern also not getting the looks from the three-point line they did in the first half. Well, chasing them off the three-point line, taking away that airspace. And a foul. Looks like that's Xavier Tillman who just came into the game. Talented freshman from Grand Rapids. Coach Izzo not happy with that call again. On ball screen. Just don't see anything there. I'm not sure if they're anticipating or that's some point of emphasis that they came into the game with, but uh, just didn't see a foul. Did you? I thought he moved at the end, Coach, but I could be mistaken. 
Gaines has been brilliant. They go inside. Benson. Five to shoot. Gaines, hesitation runner. In and out. Timber with a rebound. That's another example of driving the Wildcats off that three-point line. Making them shoot twos from the mid-range, but no open threes. Goins. McQuaid driving, cut off by foul zone. They swing it, tum tum. Almost lost it. Finds Lankford, quick release, and it hits. Here come the Spartans. 53 to 38. 27 point lead, down to 15. And they'll call a timeout. 10 2 run for Michigan State. 13.06 to go. Back to Chicago right after this. Well, and Northwestern shorthanded, so foul trouble affects them more than it does the Spartans. But how about Michigan State coming out, hold Northwestern one of ten here in the first seven minutes? Isaiah Brown has checked back in. He was great on the pick and roll in the first half. Able to get down the lane. This time he loses it. Benson hits the deck, and the arrow favors Michigan State. Well, Michigan State has stepped up their on-ball pressure, but also quicker to help and crowd when the Wildcats put the ball on the deck. Only four points in seven minutes for Northwestern after scoring 49 in the first half. Dramatic turn of events. 53 to 38. Goins. Langford, a wild. Calzone with a rebound. Here comes Isaiah. Popular name in Chicago. When it comes to basketball. Say that again. Law fires. Off the heel, ground the rebound. Trying to pull it back out and does. Nice hustle deflected by McQuaid. They hit the deck. Drop down Rollins. Winston a three and buries it. And they got it to 12 with a timeout coming. And right on track as they incrementally chip away at the deficit that at one time was 27 points. 13 to 2 run for Michigan State. Northwestern looking a little shaky now. Here's Brown, spinning, picks it up, forced it up, can't get it to fall. Goins with a rebound. Spartans can get even closer right here. Sashes Winston, takes a jumper. Boom. Chris Collins with that dilemma of whether to use a timeout and lose it for later in the game to try and stem the bleeding in order to try and get to that next TV timeout, which comes on the dead ball. 15 to 2 run for Michigan State. Baseline, long, jump hook, no. Snatch down, Tillman. Outlet, Winston. They Trying score. to get inside, 10 now. Winston starting to warm up. He's got Falzone on him. A basket here, and these Michigan State fans will erupt. Baseline, McQuaid, yeah! Good, McQuaid! And this is the first time Michigan State has been inside 10 points since the score was 14 to 6. Now time out, Northwestern. And that was the dilemma. And the smallest Spartan on the court, playing big, Cassius Winston, stepping in the Jays. Michigan State right back in this one. With the mid-range jumpers orchestrating. And this Spartan team really a tale of two halves. Inside and a foul ball on Winston. 
Michigan State on an 18-2 run after Northwestern had a 20-2 run in the first half. Well, they completely traded places in their mindsets of aggressiveness. Michigan State coming out of the locker room just has been spot on. Foul zone. Wildcats can't buy a bucket. Bridges back in the game with three fouls. Bridges on the baseline. Mid-range jump shot rattled home. 53 to 48. You see the difference, Gus. Defense creating offense for Michigan State. Stops and shutouts creating those runouts in transition. High percentage looks. Law almost dribbled it off his foot. Northwestern, one of 14 in the second half. And it's taken away by Goins. Cassius Winston. Inside, Ward and a foul. Let's go to Lisa Byington. Yeah, Tom Izzo reminded his team in the last huddle, guys, we did exactly what we said we needed to do. We needed to get it to within 10 by the 10 minute mark. But let's not go crazy at this point. Only take the three if it is there. But defense, guys, is going to win this for us from this point on, guys. Benson leaves the game with his fourth foul. Pardon back in. He's playing with four. Well, the Spartans have been textbook in terms of the way they've incrementally chipped away at this deficit. Getting stops and then high percentage looks on the offensive end. Langford inside. Winston, top of the key. Yeah! Cassius Winston. He's got 12. He had four at halftime. And we've got a two-point game. Michigan State trailed by 27 in the first half. Northwestern rattled. Here's Law. Handoff, Law. One for 15 in the second half. Winston again. Cassius for the top. Loose inside Midwater. 53. They climbed the mountain. Well, look at the difference in the body language. We talked about invasion, the body snatchers, the zombies, and it's been a complete role reversal of mindset and approach. Trading places. Scotty Lindsay. And a foul on the sideline. Winston has been a catalyst, Gus, in this comeback. His ability to shoot the ball from distance as well as the mid-range, playing with some swag and confidence. And even when he misses, now Sparty getting on the board, second, third shot opportunities, playing volleyball point-blank range. Winston shooting 53% from three-point range. Michigan State has just shut the Wildcats' water off like a plumber tightening the pipes. Scotty Lindsay air ball. They're one for 16 from the field in the second half. Bridges with four now on the bench. Michigan State brings the ball up the floor. The Spartans have not led in this game. Dashes Winston. Langford for the lead. In and out. And a foul on the rebound. The number two ranked Michigan State Spartans back in this game. 53 up. Back to Chicago. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. 7.48 to play in the second half. We're level at 53. The game reset is sponsored by SoFi. Rethinking personal finance. Let's take a look. Spartans with all three of their timeouts. Wildcats with one. Defense, though, has been the story in the second half, Coach Lavin. Well, look at the numbers. 12-plus minutes in this half, and the Wildcats with only four points. So just shutting down all aspects. And then you look at an individual like Law, who was feeling it for Northwestern, going 6-9 in the first half. They made the adjustments here in the second half. Now Law 0 for 5 here in the second half. The Northwestern has to settle down. They couldn't do anything wrong in the first half. 
They can't do anything right in the second half. One for 16 from the field. And I think the message was delivered by Coach Izzo to his Spartans at halftime. Harden. And a foul on the floor. Nick Ward trying to keep Harden out of the lane. Picks up the second. Well, it's tough for Chris Collins, too, because when you know you've had a 27-point lead, you're playing the best basketball of the season, and then you come out in the second half, and the Spartans start punching. And you see your team reeling. You see them losing confidence. You start burning timeouts. But nothing works. Harden, a 60% free throw shooter. And Winston with a rebound. Michigan State with an opportunity to lead for the first time. Winston has been wonderful in the second half. He has 12 points now. Winston probing. Turns. Keeps his dribble alive. Down the lane. The kick. McQuay pump fake. Rises. And a rebound to Scotty Lindsay. Scotty Lindsay's got to get going. He's been passive in the second half. Skelly hit some big shots in the first half, but got the foul trouble in the second half. Ten to shoot. Here's Skelly down the lane. Aggressive. No. Batted around. Part with the rebound. Can't stick it in. Another rebound for Winston. Oh, what a shift in momentum, confidence, and aggressiveness. Cash is Winston with six rebounds. Michigan State still looking for their first lead of the game. Once down by 27. Winston. Inside, they look for Ward, and Goins throws it out of play. Well, Winston has been wheeling and dealing, Gus. A playmaker, shot maker, DeLon's here, feeling it as he torches the Nets. And that bucket starts to look bigger. You see him backpedaling down the floor, enjoying this second half on fire. 12.7 assists for Cassius Winston. He also has six rebounds. 53-53. Inside, pardon. And that one knocked out of play. 5.50 to go. Northwestern trying to secure a win over a top five team for the first time in 39 years. It was Michigan State back in 1979. Magic Johnson. On their way to the national championship. Law has been quiet. And an offensive foul. Good call on the baseline. McQuaid really sliding his feet. Uh, can't do it any better. Good recovery. Drops at an angle where he can get back in front of the basketball. Takes it right on the sternum. Once you lower that shoulder, makes it easy for the official to make the offensive foul call. Northwestern one for 18 in the second half with five turnovers. Langford down low. Jackson and one. Michigan State takes their first lead of the game. Well, we've seen the perimeter attack. Now down low into Jackson. You get another look from a different angle. Took it into traffic. Shows his terrific touch. And Jared Jackson. Going to the line, first in the Big Ten and third nationally with 3.4 blocks per game. He's had three or more blocks 18 times this season. He's a freshman. And he adds a free throw. 5.26 to go. After being down by 27 points, Michigan State goes on a 28-2 run here in the second half to take a 56-53 lead. Four points in 15 minutes. I haven't seen anything like this in years as a basketball coach. Harden, oh, and he's fouled. Third foul on Jackson. Well, if you're Northwestern, you just need something good to happen to you. Go down low, try and pick up the foul. 
Jackson not happy, felt he was straight up. There may have been some contact lower that the official blew the whistle on. And Pardon gets the first. Don't forget, coming up next, Villanova Xavier. Battle two top five teams in Cincinnati. Xavier, the deepest team in the country, but nine deep all quality players. Something positive we talked about for Northwestern. Seeing the ball go through the net twice from the foul line. Now look to go back to Pardon. He's the only one that's had a little success of late. First points in 11 minutes, top of the key, Winston. Again, Cassius. 15 points. He had four at the break. And Michigan State slaps the floor. They're ready to play defense. 59-55. Inside, and the jam goes to Pardon as he got by Jackson. I'd like to look, go right back to Pardon after he made those two free throws. We got one player on their team feeling good about himself, smart to milk it. This guy feels good about himself, Cassius Winston. Crosses over, lost it. Pardon scoops it up. Well, a couple positive possessions consecutively here by the Wildcats. Under four minutes to go. TV timeout coming up. Lindsey backs it up with 10 to shoot. Scotty to the basket, the curl, no. Langford swooping in. A terrific defense there by Michigan State. Leveling off, not allowing that angle for Lindsey. Takes a wild shot. And a timeout call by Tom Izzo. 59 to 57. Cassius Winston. He set Spartans with two timeouts. Wildcats with one. Both teams shooting one and one. Possession arrow favors Northwestern. Here's the foul trouble. Bridges with four. Skelly, Harden, and Benson all with four. For Northwestern. Cassius Winston, though, has been the catalyst. Four or five in the second half. 11 points to go along with Seven assists and six rebounds. He has 15. Nick Ward powering his way in. Nice rebound by Law. Bounce pass. Gaines. Almost threw it away. Law for three. Winston with another rebound is seven. The Law shut out here in the second half after having a hot hand in the first half. Northwestern shooting 9% in the second half. Talk about tightening the pipes. Law 0 for 6 in the second half. He had 18 in the first half. And a foul call against Michigan State. Looks like a screen, a moving screen on Nick Ward. His third. Every statistical category that Michigan State was struggling with in the first half, they have reversed. Law. Just a stout defensive performance by Michigan State. The best defensive performance in a half I've seen this entire college basketball season. Every pass contested, ball pressure, the help. Lindsey has been bottled up in the second half. He's their leading scorer. 14 a game. Gaines backs it up. Five to shoot. Drives. Pulls up. In and out. Another rebound for Winston. His eighth to go along with 15 points. Michigan State, though, scoreless in the last three minutes. 149 to play. 
Goins looking for Ward. Langford drives, steps back off the side of the backboard. The Northwestern defense now starting to stiffen. The Wildcats play through Pardon. Get him a touch. But who can hit a big shot for Northwestern? Skelly! Moore with a rebound. He goes over Pardon's back. 120 to go. Every possession counts. And a timeout, Michigan State. And take a look at the defensive numbers you were talking about, Coach Lavin. Well, there's that phrase, defensively, those nine musketeers wear you down. You look at Cantor, know about Blewett, Makura, Britton, tremendous group. Villanova upset by Providence on Wednesday at the dunk in Providence. 59-57 our score here, a minute and 13 remaining. Both teams with a timeout. Possession arrow favors Northwestern. Neither team has scored in the last three minutes. McQuaid, Winston, Langford, Ward, Bridges. Winston, he's hit some timely shots. McQuaid has two. Off the side, no. So here comes Law. One minute left. Got to go to Harden, don't you? Two for two, your only option in the half. Lindsey, guarded by McQuaid. Hands it off, Law. Harden slips. Out of bounds, Michigan State basketball. Well, they tried to find Harden on the slip screen, creating the foot race, just a little too much velocity on that pass and a tough angle to deliver. Yeah, a little too much heat on that pass. Northwestern with their sixth turnover of the second half. Bridges double teamed in the corner. They tie him up. Jump ball. Or is it a foul? And a foul call. Wow. Looked like a solid trap right along the baseline. A great area with the sideline out of bounds. The equivalent of a triple team. See a jump ball there. Tough one. And Skelly fouls out with 11 points. And they send Miles Bridges to the line, an 89% free throw shooter. Miles Bridges has not had his best day. Early foul trouble in the first half. Went out at the 13-10 mark. Did come back. He has four points. Bridges averages 17 on the season. He has not taken a foul shot today. He leads the Big Ten, though, in free throw percentage at 89%. That's why he's such an outstanding prospect with his size, versatility, and skill set. And then when fouled in late games, the ability to convert and capitalize from the charity strike. 60 to 57. Bridges trying to make this a two-possession game, barring a four-point play. And he does. 41.7 to go. Northwestern has to hurry now. You don't have to be desperate to force something to the rim. Long misses the layup. That's the kind of second half it's been for Northwestern. And Winston with another rebound, and he's fouled. How about this after being down by 27 points? The little man, well, Cassius can, Winston. And you have to say at some point it becomes psychological. Uh, that last possession, point blank range, a bunny. Uh, but not able to put it down because the entire half, you've only seen the ball 
go through the net twice in terms of field goals. Look at that stat line for Winston. Close to a triple-double, 15, 9, and 7. He was the catalyst, the spark plug for Michigan State here in the second half offensively. But defensively, it was the entire group that came out of that locker room. Whatever Tom Izzo said to them. He oh, said something. It was a shift in mindset and attitude and approach. Both free throws good. 63 to 57. Scotty Lindsay. Northwestern almost turns it over. 15 seconds to go. Law for three. And hits. One possession game, 21 for Law. Law's first possession, first basket for that matter, just sizes one up, gets the rhythm bounce, and knocks it down. Well, let's take a look at the remaining schedules for these three top teams in regular season title hopes alive. Referees looking at the clock right now. Northwestern effective in terms of holding Michigan State 20 points below their season average. Uh, but the fact in the second half, we talked about the magic number being 14 threes. And Northwestern sitting on a nine in terms of three pointers made. Uh, just not enough. Wildcats with just 11 points in the second half. Another look. So 11.4 on the clock. Three point game. Northwestern will try to steal the ball on this inbounds play and foul quickly. Yep, you want to try and get a five second violation. Switch everything coming to the ball if there's any screens. Go for the steal on now, the catch, but if you don't manage it, you've got a foul. Now they put 11.7 on the clock. McQuaid, the inbounder, runs the baseline, finds Bridges, and a foul of the midcourt line with 9.3 to go. And you send the best free throw shooter in the conference to the strike. First one good. Tom is up. What a coaching job. Talk about making halftime adjustments. Well, they shut down Northwestern's three point attack. They stepped up their ball pressure. They disrupted their cuts, the rhythm, the timing of their offense. And that was the catalyst to get Michigan State out in transition. Of course, Winston went to work. Brown looking. Brown. Falzone, desperate shot into the hands of Parton. He lays it in. He will not count. And how about this? After being down by 27, Tom Izzo's number two ranked Michigan State Spartans come back. And they beat Northwestern for their 10th consecutive win. And they really had to dig deep to get this one. Cassius Winston was excellent in the second half. Well, they're in a sprint mode as they head to the finish line of Big Ten play. Closing in on a Big Ten title. 65-60 the final. Michigan State comes back from being down by 27 to defeat Northwestern. For Steve Lavin and Lisa Byington, this is Gus Johnson. We'll send you out to Rob Stone.